Hello everybody, welcome back. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a paint fail this weekend. We've, uh, as I said in my last video, we've been painting this beautiful new bedroom as part of the extension. Quite a big expanse to paint, so we decided in the end we were going to use some colours elsewhere in the bathroom and other parts of the house, but for this room we thought we're just going to go for white, just bog standard white, and have a look in Selco and picked up one of these, which wasn't very expensive, so I thought, brilliant, this isn't going to cost us too much to paint the whole room, and it doesn't really make any difference what paint we uh, use. And uh, it all started okay, but we found that as we started to work with it, um, and to be fair, Steve and my other half did most of the painting in this room. As he started to work with it, he kept finding that there were globules and it seemed to kind of go off quite quickly. And uh, it didn't matter what he tried, he was trying to stir it and mix it and um, keep it moving. And it just, everywhere that he painted, he just kept coming across these globules. So Saturday night, Stephen was pretty fed up because he'd been painting most of the day and uh, it was just getting more and more annoying for him. And basically he was having to then, as you can see, he was coming across his goggles and then he had to either pick them off or wait till they dried and then sand them. So it's done now, but it just meant it took a lot more time um, than we wanted to. And often, obviously, when you're doing it yourself, you're fitting in at the weekend and evenings anyway. So it was really frustrating. We would never use it again. And next time around, we would just spend a bit more money and get a better quality paint and one that was recommended as just a bit easier to work with. So that was our painting fail, but it's not all been bad news. There's been lots of good things going on in this room as well. We had the amazing Robin Clevett, who's got his own YouTube channel actually. Um, he came in last week and he did all of our skirting boards for us and our door frame. Um, and he did an absolutely splendid job, he really did. And uh, we were very lucky to have him. Um, so it meant that when it came to painting it, it wasn't too hard a job anyway. But we had these fantastic products from Leyland, um, which were much better than the other paint we've been using. We had the fast drying undercoat, and we also have this, which is a fast drying um, satin to go over it. And what we found about these products is they were really nice at filling in as well. So if there were any tiny little um, imperfections, uh, these products just really easily cover them up. So it was straightforward, one coat of each, and it was the job done, which last time we did anything like this, which was about eight years ago, I remember it being a much more finickety than that. So um, we were really pleased with that, and really pleased with the result, and it looks amazing. So we've also got the sockets in, most of them, led, our supplier didn't have the uh, USB ones that we wanted, so we've left a couple of those out, but the rest of them, we've gone for this brushed chrome. It's not what we've got in the rest of the house, we've just got standard white plastic, but we thought we'll start upgrading from here and eventually upgrade the rest of the house. And we've actually got the same thing with the same dilemma with the carpet, because we could just about match the carpet that we've got in the rest of the house that we put in about eight years ago. Has seen better days, can't afford to replace it all. So do we go for something that we love in here and then slowly um, update the rest of the house? Probably is the answer to that, but we need to work it out. And we've got, because we've got the underfloor heating going in, we need to pressure test that as well before we can put the carpet in and work out the exact right top values to go with the underfloor heating. It's all a bit complicated. Um, so that's going to affect our choice of carpet or certainly our choice of underlay anyway in here. So a few decisions to make this week, but by next weekend, I'd like to think that we're, uh, we're pretty much there. We'll certainly have the carpet people booked in to come and do that. So uh, it'll be our first room to tick off our list. So we're really excited. Thanks very much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe um, to keep up with the project. Bye-bye for now.